Serious, students who were taught by a teacher that turned out to be a criminal. What were they like when they taught you? Years after I graduated I saw my old high school Spanish teacher in the paper for selling buying pills. Was not really surprised as she was out for over two years from a severe back injury during a car accident. Pill addictions are no joke and happen to all types of people. My 7th grade pay teacher. I wasn't in pay because of health issues but was in his health class a few times. All the girls in my class told me to avoid him at all costs. They said he touched their butts, stared at them, and peeked in the locker room multiple times. The first class I had with him I tried to stay quiet and unnoticed. Everyone else was being rowdy and he came up to me and said I was his favorite. I wasn't sure what to think of him so I asked my little sister, third grade at same school, what she thought of him. She said he tickles the girls, and pets their hair, and gives them piggyback rides. I told her to never let him touch her at all whatsoever. He was also really aggressive with the male students and pushed a boy in my class into a wall once. The principal wouldn't do anything about him despite knowing all these things he did. He was eventually let go when the parents of these kids got involved. A few years later he was arrested for repeated sexual assault of a young child. Makes me sick to think about. The principal of my high school was caught embezzling money from the school. She was a nice person and developed the school in many positive ways. It was a screwed up situation in which she her husband had cancer and they couldn't afford the bills. Also a rabbi from my elementary school was arrested for something pedophilia related. Not sure if p or molestation. He was creepy and invited all the kids to sit on his lap. People were fine with this until they weren't. My gym teacher seemed like a normal gym teacher. That is, a little odd and wore shorts that seemed almost indecently short. Well, the year after I graduated he gets busted for child pee. Not just looking at child pee. He was creating child pee. I don't think they found anything taken in the high school itself. But there were former students of his in there. He ended up killing himself in his jail cell while awaiting trial. His wife worked at the school as a literature teacher but was forced to leave by the PTA. That bothers me just because she wasn't involved and was actually a really good teacher. I had a gym teacher who wore really short shorts all the time. I was in grade 6 and it made me really uncomfortable. Anyways, not knowing much about how their male body works. You can understand my confusion when there was something sticking out in his shorts whenever he would talk to the girls. High school geometry teacher, young guy in his late 20s, didn't understand the material himself, had no patience for teenagers, got arrested for giving a student coke and taking him across state lines. And I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for those dang state lines. My 11th grade physics teacher was arrested for M possession and child neglect. The police found M residue in her kids board game boxes. When I was in 12th grade, I had her first period and she always came in a few minutes late and always seemed very frazzled. She always had her 5 year old with her in class. I think because the daycare run by my high school didn't start until after first period ended. She would run through a week's worth of material in one 45 minute class and then spend the rest of the week clearing up all the confusion she created. Then when the test came around she would just walk around the class solving problems on the test for us. My friends and I just played poker in the back of the room for the entire second half of the school year once we realized that she completely didn't give a crap about anything. One time her kid wasn't feeling well so in order to placate him she played the movie Wall-E for us. No one was surprised when she was arrested. What the freaking freak. There was a teacher at my middle school who was weird, not outright creepy, but just really strange mannerisms. He spoke in a strangely high-pitched voice, not in an effeminate manner, just weirdly high, and called students things like chitlins and dolls. I was never in his class, but saw him every now and then. One time he caught a friend and I chatting at the water fountain when we should have been in class. He took us back to our teacher and told her he caught us having a tea party at the water fountain. Weird guy, but not really sinister seeming. Anyway, it came out a couple years later that he was a pedophile and child pornographer. As far as I know he was never convicted of actually touching a minor. He would apparently invite 12-13 year old male students over to his house for tutoring, with their parents permission then unexpectedly have to leave for a half hour or so. 
He would leave pornography out where the kids would easily find it, and had hidden cameras set up to videotape them when they inevitably did what 12-13 year old males do when they are alone and discover pornography. Creepy sucker. I've never been a 12-13 year old boy but I can't imagine being comfortable enough to start masturbating at my teacher's house. P or no? My senior year of high school my social studies teacher was a handsome early 30s man. He was a coach they just stuck in that room to give us crosswords and default crappy assignments. We never did anything. He was nice and chill. Just kinda played on his phone while we did. Whatever. He usually had the cheerleaders sitting on the corner of his desk laughing. I guess the social aspect of that class was him fricking every underage teenage girl that would smile at him. It was sad. He literally had a kind and beautiful wife who taught at the elementary school. When she would bring him lunch she'd have these loving smiles on her face. They had two young children together the combination of cheating and statutory must have just been crushing. Well, it came out about 5 years after I graduated that the rumor he was sleeping with his students was very true. I forget how many counts now, but apparently he would tell every one of them she was special and the only one ever. A couple of the only ever special girls somehow got in contact with each other, realized the sick crap he was doing, and rallied everyone else to turn him in. Great news is, the loving wife is now remarried to a great guy who is a real father to her girls. Thank you for including the happy ending for his ex-wife and kids. My 6th grade gifted teacher got arrested for stealing all the color Mac computers in the Mac lab of the high school, after he slept with a student and got her pregnant. He was creepy, and a jerk of a teacher. Gosh I was all excited to say, well here's a different one. Stealing colored computers. Oh wait also slept with student. My teacher when I was 10 stroke 11 was actually a great teacher. All the mums loved him and he taught us kids a lot and prepared us for secondary school. He was the one who got me interested in amateur dramatics. Cue about 9 years later. The morning paper has just dropped through the letterbox. I unfold it and he's staring back at me. He was sentenced to 8 years in prison for having an adult relationship with an 11 year old girl. He also took her on holiday and paraded her in front of other pedophiles. Sickening. Oh god. I can't imagine being paraded like that. I feel so bad for that girl. I hope they caught the others. There was a math teacher at my high school who had a typical alpha male personality. He liked to stand with his nose in the air and look down at everyone as they entered his class study hall, spoke boisterously to assert his dominance, and often would say such things as are we going to have a problem here, excuse me, do I need to intervene, etc. Turns out, he liked to download Kidpy on the school provided computer, and was promptly fired. It was so satisfying. My 7th grade science teacher had been molesting the girls for a decade before he was caught. He tried to flee the country back into Croatia when he found out people were onto to him. The really sad thing was that I got along well with him and really liked his teaching style and how he ran his class. Before I found out the horrors that he committed behind closed doors I actually considered him to be one of my favorite teachers. That's how those that abuse get away with it for so long. They compartmentalize. It's all part of the grooming. You don't just groom victims, you groom a community. I had an awesome math teacher in high school. Think Ace Ventura but before that movie came out. Alrighty then kids, let's do some math. Then he'd do problems on the board and assign those same problems as homework. Good dude. Turns out he beat his wife till she divorced him and then molested his kids. My elementary school principal was busted stealing drugs out of the nurse's cabinet. Every morning he would get on the PA system and say once a task is just begun. Never leave it till it's done. Be the labor great or small. Do it well or not at all. I still quote this to this day. He also used to give paddlings. This was early 90s TX. That's weird. I wonder what kind of steel worthy drugs would be kept at an elementary school. My 9th grade social studies teacher got arrested for shooting H in the bathroom in between classes. One time she tried telling us that the holocaust was made up and she is only telling us about it because they make her. Wasn't too happy when I told her my grandma was a survivor. My econ teacher in high school was beloved by the entire school. Hysterical, vulgar, in a funny way, understanding. Treated 17 year olds like adults. 
which was a great feeling, and a first for a lot of the kids in his class, and was a fantastic teacher with a great pass rate. He made learning about stagflation and the minute workings of the stock market into a fun activity that we actually looked forward to every day. He gets voted teacher of the year every 3 years or so and has been at the school for about a decade. He still teaches there, and no legal action has been brought against him, but it's an open secret that 3 freshman girls, 15 years old, have given him BJ's in a nearby bathroom. I adored him when I was in his class. And until I learned that information last year he was firmly on my top 5 all time favorite teachers list. In my first year of secondary school, I was taught by two men who turned out to be pedophiles. One raped a girl, and the other possessed indecent images. They were both odd teachers but not that sort of odd. I liked them both and was surprised to find out what happened to them. And due to typical teenage humor, they both became the boogeyman who was said to be hiding in that dark room or in the hole in the ceiling. Rate a girl. WTF. The middle high school band teacher got arrested for child pee while I was in 8th grade. I never imagined it was that bad. But I did quit band after the one required year because he was creepy. My 8th grade science teacher got arrested for producing child pornography with a 16 year old girl from the high school in our district. He was always known as the cool, hip teacher that got along well with the cool, popular kids in my middle school. What we thought was hip teacher behavior turned out to be a creepy old man flirting with young middle school girls. I had a high school teacher who was basically a jerk all of the time and was massively self confident to the extremes. I think he taught social studies but I never took his classes. Instead he was one of my assistant coaches alongside his brother. About 7-8 years after I graduated I learned from the local news that he got busted sleeping with a student who was currently going to my high school. Had sex in the football gym too. His brother lost his job as apparently they had had sex at his house too. Though the brother didn't actually do anything with the girl. At last I heard he got probation and the sex offender list. His brother I do feel bad for because he was alright. Rumor has it his wife at the time was also a former student of his that he married shortly after she graduated. Apparently he must have figured he got away with it the first time so he went hunting again. 8th grade science teacher. Can't remember what he did but I saw his mugshot online a few years ago. This dude looks like the lead singer of Gene's Addiction but somehow more athletic and with crazier eyes. He had a high pitched voice that made you want to die and the only thing he did was play documentaries on the apocalypse during class. Go to love the NC education system. Holy crap I can answer this one. My physics teacher was fantastic. I was not a good student. I wasn't motivated at all. I was a CD student. Just enough to get by. I loved my physics class and I got an A my first semester much to the surprise of everybody. Because of my grades in other classes I almost didn't get into this class. My grade in that class started to drop off in the second semester and I was sitting at a low B. A couple more missed homework assignments and I would have been getting a C. The teacher apparently cared about his students enough to check up on them. I didn't have any particularly great relationship with the man and he came by my desk and asked me why my grade was slipping and if everything was okay at home because all of my other grades were even worse. I worked and I got that grade back up and finished out the class with A's. I didn't really talk to him outside of regular teacher student environment. At one point my mom, who was so blown away that I got a good grade, went into the school to talk to him and thank him for somehow motivating this kid she was having an impossible time with. Apparently that meeting didn't go well. He was very standoffish and my mom walked away with a bad feeling about him. Mom has great intuition. Turns out teacher man was a peophile. He used to run a male beauty pageant at the school and nobody thought anything of it. It was a lot of goofy fun for the students. Well, as a promotion for this he was taking pictures of the boys who were taking part. He had a kid alone in his classroom, taking pictures of him with his shirt off and he walked over and pulled the kid's pants down. The police raided his house and of course they found much worse. He served time. I think he still lives in town. We had this substitute teacher who was perhaps the most extreme patriot I've ever met. I don't want to say he was racist per se, because he was cool with Americans of all stripes, just no one else. So every time he was there we'd get a lecture on how great America is, regardless of class. 
I had him for debate one day, and he was listening to and judging our cases. Well, it just so happened to be that I was debating on a topic about human rights for people accused of terrorism, and my case put Guantanamo in a negative light. Oh boy, did I get a scolding. I nearly cried. Welp. Turns out there was one thing he liked more than America. Kids, disgusting man got arrested on counts of child molestation dating back years. None were from our town or state for that matter. He subbed for high school and the charges were for very young kids in his hometown. I wasn't entirely surprised. I always felt deeply uncomfortable around him. It was a running joke before the charges came out about who got him that day. The teacher that taught my class sex ed in primary school was arrested last year for filming students undressing in the toilets after swimming lessons. He was a little weird, was in the same class with his daughter and she was really quiet. Comma was in the same class with his daughter and she was really quiet. That is so freaking heartbreaking. Comma yes, a lot of students are quiet. But putting two and two together like that, it's pretty clear she was being abused. I made an account just to tell this story but it'll probably get lost. Wasn't a teacher but a janitor at my middle school. He was always a little weird and off-putting and would yell at kids for talking too loud or being in the hallways during class. My one weird experience with him was when I was staying after school for a club and I went to use the bathroom. I walked in and he was in there cleaning the stalls so I began to step out and I was doing so he told me I could still use the bathroom and he'd just be there cleaning. Of course that made me uncomfortable so I left but I never really told anyone about it. Years later my parents saw in the paper that the janitor of my middle school had gotten arrested for sexually molesting his own daughter, who was 6, and other girls at the school. It was in fact the same janitor. It brings to mind, for me, the scene in the Silent Hill movie where the little girl gets raped by the janitor in the bathroom. Definitely unsettling. My 7th grade environmental science teacher got arrested for sexual harassment. Creep. Nobody was surprised. My old bus driver got arrested for sexual assault of a minor. Again, nobody surprised. My former wrestling coach just got arrested for sexual imposition. Ovi. And battery. Go to love public schools. The wrestling coach shocked me the most. He was a great guy and was my favorite coach. Outside of wrestling he also did a lot of work with the Special Olympics. He had two young children and a wife who he seemingly adored. He seemed like a good person and it's scary that people who seem normal, who are living amongst, are capable of things like this. When I was a sophomore in high school, I took an anatomy and physiology class at my local community college at night with an adjunct professor who was a retired dentist. He wasn't a great teacher by any means but did spend an awful lot of time during labs with the attractive and younger women in the class. He walked me to my car on more than one occasion. Maybe a third of the way through the semester I go to class and there awaits a counselor and the dean of students. Apparently our professor was fired after several girls in my class were approached by him for good grades in exchange for a whole list of different things. Turns out, he wasn't a retired dentist either. His license had been revoked and he had gone to jail for having molested several women while they were on nitrous oxide. It took forever to catch him at it apparently because most had no memory. Needless to say all those who remained in the class got an A. Everybody knew there's something a little off about my 10th grade algebra teacher. I wasn't a particular fan of his either, because he always seemed to give me a hard time. I have fairly severe ADD, and at the time I was living unmedicated. For reasons I'd have to go on a tangent to explain. Needless to say, he'd single me out for a number of reasons, like doing my work the wrong way, even though I'd get the right answers. He never really seemed to care much about my academic progress, and didn't bother to help much. What I didn't notice at the time was that it was because I was a boy. He was also the girls cross country coach. He was fired and arrested for sexual assault. Good riddance, I say. Ugh. School with ADHD was so goddamn difficult, it seemed like every teaching method was exactly wrong for the way our brains are wired. My 11th grade anatomy teacher got arrested for child pee on the school computers. He was super creepy and could not understand personal space or social boundaries. Not to mention he was unsanitary. While the section he lifted the cat's intestines to show us some ligaments in the hips with his bare hands. He then proceeded to go clean his coffee mug without washing his hands. 
He was a sexist jerk who would mark down girls for cheating if they did better than all the boys in class so wasn't even a little surprised to hear that he had been arrested for beating the crap out of his wife and child. I think he got 3 years. Not enough anyway. Mr. H. He was a narcissistic prick. Super creepy with the, very, underage girls. Made constant inappropriate comments in the fricking principal wouldn't take any of us seriously. Two girls came forward saying he cornered them alone in his office and was demanding sexual favors to let them go. Nothing was done and the girls were made out to be drama queens seeking to ruin a good man's reputation. Mr. H was a gym teacher. Had access to the locker rooms. One student broke his leg during gym and was screaming for someone to take him to the hospital. His leg was twisted really unnaturally. Mr. H. Instead of calling the nurse blasted the kid's leg for over 20 minutes with dodgeballs to prove he was faking. Kid's parents sued. I was one of the students that witnessed it and was asked to give a statement. This was not the first indecent where he knowingly injured students. Sick frick got off on it. The year I graduated Mr. H. Had a sub go through his desk. There they found nude photos of several students along with creepy pictures where he was sneaking photos of the girls locker room while students were changing. He was charged with solicitation of minors and something else I don't remember. Got a slap on the wrist. No jail time and wasn't officially fired as he was on leave for an undisclosed amount of time. That was short lived though. Not even a month afterwards his wife found out he had been sexting a then 17 year old student. Wife divorced him and took their kids. He continued seeing the student. He was fired from the school and charged with something I don't remember but it rendered him unable to teach in schools anymore. He's living with the student now. She's always got bruises and she's pregnant with their second kid. He's late 50s and she just turned 20 not too long ago. She looks freaking miserable. He should have been slapped with pedophilia charges and put on a list. Why do I feel this was either in the 1970s or in the deep south? biology teacher was pretty cool. Turned out she was banging students yo. I didn't realize till later but some people must have known because a couple guys would openly flirt with her and shed just blush and shrug it off. The high school I went to had pretty much the same thing happen. But she left before I got to her class. She had a kid in my class too and nothing really happened to the family cause of it. When I left secondary school my maths teacher was caught with a ton of child pornography on his computer. He was a pretty good teacher and he didn't show any signs of that side of himself. It was a bit of a shock. Although I went to an all boys school where my rather large hairy pay teacher walked into the school showers completely naked. Luckily I wasn't in at the time. But I just remember seeing about 20 lads just run out of the other side of the showers clutching their junk. Hilarious at the time. But only slightly funny now thinking about how strange it actually was. My 10th grade algebra 2 teacher was arrested for trying to solicit a minor. He looked a lot like Peter Griffin and always invited me and some other girls to eat lunch in his classroom if the weather was bad everyone usually ate lunch outside. He also kept pop tarts in his desk for us. He was really funny in class and students generally liked him a lot. Now his behavior seems a lot less harmless and just creepy. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.